Business Calculus, Topic 2.2. We want to find the instantaneous rate of change at x equals negative 3 for the function f. We'll be using the difference quotient. So, we're going to state that a is the point negative 3, and our h's will be 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. And by the time we get to this last h for our last arc, we should have an idea of what our instantaneous rate of change should be. Okay, so let's begin. The, the average rate of change formula is found by taking f of a plus h minus f of a. That's how we use the a and the h here. And all divided by h. This will give us the average rate of change. Now, to get the instantaneous rate of change, we take the same formula, but we have h changing, becoming smaller and smaller. And that's why we have these new h's here, because we'll be getting smaller and smaller. So these h's are for the limit. All right, now, for the function, we want to put an a plus h everywhere we see an x. So this will be a plus h all over 3, minus 1, then minus. This is the function f, wherever where we see an x, we'll replace it with an a. So this will be um, a over 3, parentheses, minus 1, everything is over h. Now from here, we want to put all this into the calculator, so the calculator can um, find this where a is negative 3 and uh, h is 1. So I'm going to give you the system for putting this in. So we're going to put an open parenthesis for the numerator then an open parenthesis for the a plus h that'll be alpha a plus alpha h close parenthesis division 3 then subtract 1 then we'll subtract open parenthesis alpha a division 3 subtract 1 close parenthesis and then close the entire numerator for that problem and then divide that all by alpha h alright so let's begin the process here Okay, first we want to tell the calculator that negative um, 3 is being stored, negative 3 is being stored, and the store button is right here, is being stored into um, alpha a, so alpha a, and then enter. Okay, there it is. Alright, next we want to have 1, and we want that stored here, stored into um, alpha h and then enter. Alright, so negative 3 and negative and positive 1 have been stored into a and h. Now we'll put in our actual function here. So open parentheses, open parentheses, and then we need alpha a, so alpha a plus alpha h, and then close parentheses, then division 3, subtract 1, and then subtract 1, subtract with the answer, I think, open parentheses alpha a and then divide by 3 subtract 1 close parenthesis and then close parenthesis and then divide by um, alpha h there we go alpha h okay then I press enter and I get 0.333 for my first arc so for this one my arc the average rate of change is 0.333 okay now let's do it this time for h is 0.1 so I'm going to put 0.1 and store that into alpha h enter and we're going to pull up the equation again by pressing second function enter and then second function enter again and the equation is back on the screen once it's back on the screen we can press enter and use it and we get our second arc which is again 0.333 so that's our next arc with our next h so this time we're going to use 0.01 for h, so 0 0.01, we're going to store that into alpha h, oops, sorry, 0 0.01, store that one into alpha h, and we get, okay, let's bring the equation back, and 0.333 again, 0.333 again, and finally, um, 0 0.001, and I'm going to store that into alpha h. I kind of got an idea of what, the, what I'm going to get again for my average rate of change. 
it would be 0.333 again, yes. So average rate of change is 0.333. This suggests that by instantaneous rate of change, that would be 0.3333 as well, or should we say one third? So our conclusion is that the derivative of f at negative 3 will be one third, or the instantaneous rate of change will be one third. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Um, this time we have a function f of x equals x squared over 2 plus x over, x, x over 4 and we want to find the instantaneous rate of change at x equals 2. So we're going to assume that a equals 2 and then h will be 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. This will find our different arcs. Okay, so uh, the average rate of change formula is f of a plus a, a plus h, minus f of a all over h. And now to find the instantaneous rate of change, we'll take the limit as h goes to zero, which we'll start using the rest of these h's. And a plus h, replacing x, gives us a plus h squared all over two plus a plus h all over 4 and we'll subtract open up the parenthesis and everywhere I say x we're going to put an a so this will be a squared all over 2 plus a all over 4 and close all divided by h okay now we have to get this into the calculator so we'll open up our overall parentheses for this and then a parentheses for the alpha a plus h close parenthesis, then we'll square that, division, 2, right here, then plus, then open another parenthesis, alpha a plus alpha h, close parenthesis, divide all that by 4, subtract, open up another parenthesis, and this time we'll type alpha a squared, division 2, plus a, looks like a 9, it's an a, alpha a, division 4, close parenthesis, and then close the entire numerator, and then we'll divide all this by alpha h. Okay, so let's begin by placing 2 into a. So 2 store alpha a and then 1 to h. So 1 store alpha h. Okay, enter. Okay, so the 2 and the 1 are in there. Now the function itself. So open parentheses, open parentheses, alpha a plus alpha h close parentheses square divided by 2 plus open parentheses alpha a plus alpha h close parentheses uh, divided by 4 minus open parentheses uh, alpha a squared divided by 2 plus alpha a divided by 4 close close division and then alpha h alright got it all in there alright pressing enter and for my first arc my first arc we get um, 2.57 and that's where um, and that's for h equals 1 now let's say for h equals 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 store alpha h. I'm going to redo the problem and put it in. And so now I get 3 point, sorry, 2.3 for my average rate of change. And now I'm going to try something a little different. 0 0.000001. That's five zeros and then the one. 0 0.12345 and then the one. And I'm going to store that into alpha h. Okay. And this will now pull up my equation again. And this time I get 2.25 with a lot of zeros here. I want to assume that my instantaneous rate of change must be 2.25, or should I say 2 and 1 fourth. So we're going to conclude that 
the function, the derivative of the function at 2 will be 2 and 1 fourth 